Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silent meditation. What's up, Pine Richland? Today is February 5th, 2020, and it's a B-Day. And I'm Ryan Gar, <laughs> the leading astrophysicist. <laughs> activity period. Today we will be following an activity period. <laughs> Bell schedule. During this activity period, 11th grade students will report to the auditorium for a scheduling assembly. Grades 9, 10, and 12 remain in the home rooms. Black History Month. The month of February is Black History Month which is an annual celebration of achievements by African Americans in the time for recognizing the central role of African Americans in U.S. history. Each day this month, we will share a powerful quote from an influential African American. Today, we recognize Rosa Parks. Rams away, it's that time again. Time to announce this week's homeroom Ramsway winners. This week, the home rooms of 38, Mr. Roberts, 44, Mr. Burkhart, 201, Mrs. Rogus, 323, Mr. Pokadge, and 419, Mrs. Koloski are the winners. Way to go. The full list of students in those home rooms are posted on the Meadow Bulletin boards. Be sure to get to your home rooms by 7.45 a.m. I'm not. Um, and maybe, maybe your home room will be the next Ramsway winner. Um, fact of the day, let's check in with Dane for fact of the day. Hey, once again, it's Dane. We have another fun fact. Did you know Floyd Money Mayweather has never lost a professional fight? He's 50 and 0. Um, that's it. Back, boys. Um, thanks, Dane, but actually Mitchell Dugan did beat <laughs> Floyd Mayweather. <laughs> Paper recycling. Due to, the, due to the scheduling meetings, college fair, and the vast majority of the environmental club being juniors, they will be again unable to recycle this week. Please let Mr. Sim Simcoe know if you, have, if you must have your bins emptied this week. They don't want paper in the trash and can make special pickups throughout the week. Please don't hesitate to request a pickup. Plastic recycling. Attention, Pine Ridge High School. A pilot plastic recycling program is underway. Plastic recycling bins are located in the cafeteria. Plastic bottles and aluminum cans will be accepted. Bottles and cans must be empties and bottles must have the cap removed. If the pilot program goes well, plastic recycling will be expanded to the rest of the building. Choir, anyone interested in auditioning for the chamber singers or women's ensemble for next school year should see Mr. Rickard or Miss Flora in the choir room for audition material. Auditions will be held Friday, February 28th. If you have any questions, please see one of the choir directors. Inkwell, Pinerton High School's original art and literature magazine is taking submissions for their next issue. Anonymous submissions are okay. Submit to room 107 by Valentine's Day, February 14th, using the form located in room 107. Ask your English teachers about bonus points and enter it for a chance to win a $5 gift card just for submitting. Now let's go to Dane for today's feature. Hey, what's up everyone? It's Dane with the student feature. So who do we have here? Maggie said I'm right now. <laughs> We've been waiting for you. What grade are you in? Nine. And uh, tell us like a fun fact about yourself, a hobby. Um... I'm a semi-pro dancer. What kind of dancer? Uh, just, like, just dance? Yeah. Nice. That's <laughs> nice. All right, back to the boys front. Wow. I thought she was a senior. 
engineering and technology education. It is that time of year again, scheduling. Not sure which electives to take for next year? Look no further. Invest your, in your future by taking an engineering and technology education course. Some of the courses you have to choose from are CAD, systems engineering, robotics, and of course, video production. Go to the department homepage located at the web address at the bottom of your screen for course information and videos. My younger self, if you had the chance right now to be able to give advice to your younger self, what would you say? Beautiful. Members of the high school and athletic staff were interviewed and as to share what advice they would give to their younger self or given the opportunity to. This week we are featuring social studies teacher, Mr. Slim. Uh, if I could speak to my younger self, I would probably just remind myself that you don't have to conform to anyone else's standards. You can just be you. You can be as goofy as you would like. You don't have to worry about what other people think of you because people are going to have their own opinions anyway. You may as well just do what works best for you. That was good. Best Buddies. The Best Buddies Ball will be held Friday, March 6th at the Carnegie Science Center. Please stop by the display outside of room 111 to pick up a permission slip that is due no later than Monday, February 24th. You must have a signed permission slip in order to go. Please see Miss Molly or Miss Rachel in room 111 with any questions. Autism Awareness. The Best Buddies program are selling Autism Awareness t-shirts through February 19th for $10. Order forms have to be emailed. In addition, order forms can be found in the school store. Shirts can be worn on Autism Awareness Day, which is Thursday, April 2nd. Let's go to some of the best buddies for more information about the sale. April is Autism Awareness Month. Best buddies will be selling Autism Awareness t-shirts. T-shirts are on $10. Order forms are available through your email in the school store. Wear your t-shirt on April 2nd to show your support. Thank, Thank you. you. Cap and gown, seniors, if you have not ordered a cap and gown for graduation, please see Mrs. Morrow in the principal's office for an order form. Spanish Club, does taking an authentic Spanish flamenco class sound fun to you? If you are interested in learning the flamenco, please bring a check for $10 made out to Pine Ridge and School District by February 10th to Senora Huff or one of the Spanish Club officers. The class will be in Global Studies on Tuesday, February 25th from 2.45 to 3.45 p.m. There will be a guitarist or pianist accompanying the flamenco instructor. It will be a fiesta. Gracias and see you there. Rammies, the 2020 Rammy season is here. You may submit your original short films right now. The Rammy Awards showcases and honors Pine Ridge and School District's best scholastic staff, resident, and alumni filmmakers. Entries are due by March 2nd. It is easy to submit. Go to the rules page located at the address at the bottom of your screen for details and submission procedures. Uh, PRTV Club. The next meeting for the PRTV Club will take place on Thursday, February 13th after school in room 328. Response reporter. I don't know why we still call it that, but do you know what it means to be a responsible reporter? The definition of a responsible reporter is someone who is aware of what's going on around you in a place like your home, school, and especially social media. If you send something potentially harmful, you should tell a trusted adult immediately. Let's go to a video reminder made by the first period TV production class of what it takes to be a responsible reporter. Mr. Right and Mr. Wrong in Responsible Reporting, presented by PRTV. Before we begin, what is responsible reporting? Responsible reporting is if you see something, say something to a trusted adult. Danger can happen anywhere, including your school, home, and on social media. At school, an innocent nerd bumps into a bully. Mr. Right and Mr. Wrong both witness the carnage. Mr. Wrong ignores the bully and does nothing. Mr. Right runs off and reports to a teacher about the fight. Mr. Teacher goes and breaks up the fight. Thanks to Mr. Right's reporting, minimal damage was caused. And now to the home environment. Oh no! Mr. Right and Mr. Wrong's cousin, Wild Willie, is stealing prescription drugs from the medicine cabinet. Mr. Wrong, not wanting to be a snitch, does absolutely nothing. Mr. Right does the right thing though and tells a responsible parent. The parent then gets help for Willie, potentially saving his life from a future addiction. And now, social media. Mr. Right and Mr. Wrong see a Snapchat post that seems to be a cry for help. Mr. Wrong just ignores it, thinking it's just for drama and keeps scrolling. Mr. Right reports to a counselor about their friend's post. The counselor looks into the situation and helps their friend with his depression. Remember to always trust your gut. If you see something that doesn't look right, tell a trusted adult. If you don't, like Mr. Wrong, 
the potential threat rises and could lead to something worse. Please report responsibly. Remember, if you don't report something, then the potential of someone getting hurt increases. Be a good friend, do the right thing, trust your gut. Uh, guidance news, lunch and learn opportunity. Mr. Jason Watkins, assistant principal at A.W. Beatty Career Center will be visiting the PRHS College and Career Center on February 12th during all three lunch periods. Students interested in learning more about A.W. Beatty are welcome to attend during their lunch period. Students who plan on attending during class will need to bring a signed permission form to their classroom teacher. If you have any questions, please see Mrs. Whalen or Mrs. Flipowski in the guidance office. The following scholarships, contests, and workshops are now available. Stop in the guides or check on Navion's under colleges tab um, scholarship list. Now we go to Aiden for sports. What's up PR, it's Aiden here with your sports. Spring sports registration. As the winter sports season begins to wind down, Pine Ridgeland High School District Pine Ridgeland School District is preparing for the spring sports season. With that in mind, please take time to submit an online registration for spring sports by completing the PR online registration form location, located on the bottom of the district website D athletics webpage by February 24th. The first day of spring sports practice is March 2nd. Cheerleading. The Pine Ridgeland High School cheerleaders will be collecting donations of warm socks and gloves for the homeless today and running through this Friday. Please look for donation boxes at the home basketball games and at the high school entrance. Your generosity and kindness will go a long way. In other cheer news, if you're interested in trying out for the 2020-2021 cheerleading teams, please join the PR coaches for the tryout information meeting on Thursday, February 13th. The meeting will be held from 7 to 8 p.m. in the high school's LGI room. Boys Lacrosse. Registration is open for the spring season of Pine Richland Boys Lacrosse. New players are welcome. Training begins March 2nd. If you're interested in participating, please email the team at the email at the bottom of your screen or check out their website, also found at the bottom of your screen, for more information. Swimming and diving. Tonight, the varsity and JV teams will be at Butler. The meet begins at 6 p.m. Wrestling. Tonight, the varsity and JV teams will face Frazier at home. The meet begins at 7 p.m. Also, be sure to come out early for senior night and best buddies. That's all from me. Back to the front desk. Yeah, that was some good sports. Now let's go to Dane for lunch. What's up? It's Dane with your lunch. So we have a hot dog, boiled hot dog, bratwurst dog, Ranch dressing, and uh, that's all. Uh, back to the boys at the front. Sir. Now let's get a date for weather. low 33 cloudy tomorrow we have a high 53 low 30 a little bit rainy five day so Friday we have a high 32 low 18 Saturday high 35 low of 25 and then Sunday high 38 low 30 hung with snow a little bit of snow a little bit of clouds got it all back to the boys I respect that. Yeah. That's all for today. 
It's a B-Day, and I'm Jonah. Vibes.